Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm doing another world overview and that is for the town Riverview Reimagined. I have been hearing so many people talk about this town and it got me really intrigued. I've heard there's lots of really good family houses in this town, so I'm really excited for that. You guys know, or maybe you don't know, but um, I am a big family simmer and I'm not a very good builder, so I'm always on the lookout for good family homes that aren't like crazy fancy and modern like I just want your typical like middle lower class family home like I've been looking for those for so long so um, anyways if you want to download this town if you don't already have it I will link it in the description down below and I'm also gonna go ahead and read the little description of um, of the town Riverview is a flourishing river French town with a diverse population nestled in the beautiful rolling countryside. The town was founded by the Harrington family some 200 years ago, and it has since grown significantly and begun to truly flourish with a great sense of community. This is the ideal small yet lively town to call home for a variety of reasons, including stunning panoramas from nearly every angle, a wide range of activities to do and sights to see, and interesting individuals to meet. Riverview is undoubtedly a remarkable town. So if you've never watched one of my world overviews before, basically what I do is I go over the residential houses, I go over the community lots, and then I kind of go over the town as a whole and then I give it a rating. I will say this is a pretty, in my opinion, this is a pretty good sized town. We have like country living over here. I absolutely love this. It looks like um, fields and like um, farmers fields and everything. I think that is so cool. We have some more like kind of farmhouses out here. Um, let's see, this seems like maybe the rich neighborhood. We have like our typical residential areas here. This is maybe the school, I think. Um, some more places out here. Let's see. Some more country houses out here. This, these seem like the more like fancy, nice country houses maybe. I really love this. I love all the different colored trees. I love this house. Actually obsessed with it. More houses. Yeah, this is just such a pretty, beautiful place and I'm really excited. So, one thing I always like to see is if it's pre, um, what is that called? pre-populated which I love that obviously with Enros you can populate a town but I love when a town is pre-populated I will say this one seems to have a lot of families in it I'm kind of wondering a little bit like where are the empty houses almost because like there's so many families but obviously there's nothing wrong with that so I love that so freaking much I am going to move a random sim in and we will get started Okay, so as far as starter houses go, we actually have a couple apartment options, which I really love that. We have some houses over here in this area. And then let's see. We have one house over here. So we don't have a crazy amount of options for starter houses, but at the same time, they are literally starter houses. So typically you're not gonna be living in them. I'm just gonna pick one randomly, go ahead and purchase it, and we're gonna jump into the game. Again, I, how I like to do this personally is do the residential lots first, community lots, and then kind of go over the town as a whole. So I'm really, really excited to get into this. Alrighty, so I did just pick a random sim. So we have Oliver Morris here and this is the one of the starter homes I think there were like three or four options. Honestly for a starter home. It's actually pretty spacious You could really do a lot with this um, Space here you have a little fenced in um, Patio that would be really cute Truthfully, this would be a really good starter home for a couple or maybe even like a young couple with a baby or something and an attached garage. I absolutely love that. So I do, I know I said I start with um, residential, but I kind of want to just see what's community lots versus what is not. Um, Harrington House? I want to go there for sure. Okay, you know what? Oh my god, there's just so much here. I'm so excited. All right, so we have, oh, that's the hospital. That's the hospital? Why is it so dark? I'm used to hospitals being like, um, 
No way this is the hospital. Is this supposed to be like a run down hospital? I'm so confused. I did also literally just pull my game up. So my game does tend to lag a little bit for the first little bit. So I do apologize for that. Um, I really want this to load though. No way this is the hospital. Hold the phone. Is this like the official hospital? Like you work at this one? Or is this supposed to be like an abandoned hospital? Oh my God, wait, this is so cool. Okay, hold on. First of all, what is this little, little building over here? Oh my God, they made it a wheelchair. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so this looks like it's an abandoned hospital. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'm actually obsessed with this. I'm actually obsessed with this. It's an abandoned hospital. Oh my God, you could, <gasps> a runaway teen challenge. You could live in the abandoned hospital. Oh my God. And they have cones blocking the elevators. Holy, you guys, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And it is just like a regular, okay, so this is the abandoned hospital. That's wild. Okay, anyways, I do want to look at some houses because I do like to start there. So we're going to come to this one because it obviously caught my attention. Um, it's the goth house, of course. Uh, I always love the goth house. It's not my personal style to, um, to play. Like, I just, I... If I were to move into the goth house, I would usually recolor and redecorate, but I do just love to look at it, you know? It's always very pretty. Okay. I don't know why my game is being so slow. I'm going to just let it run for a second. I'm thinking maybe it just needs to run for a second and it'll start working. I, I don't know. Okay, I don't know why it took so freaking long. So this is actually the back of the house, which I think is kind of dope. Uh, the front of the house is actually this way, and I love the views you have. It's like not up on a mountain, but like it's kind of up on a mountain, you know? Super pretty. I do think it's kind of funky a little bit that it was um, like it's backwards, you know? All the other houses face the other way, so this one is technically backwards, but look at this. Look at this. That's amazing. Can we not? That's amazing, this little grand entrance here. So we're gonna go all the way down because I like to start at the bottom. Oh, that's how they did that. They like built it into the basement. Okay, that's cool. Um, we have a little two car, little car port over here. Technically it's not, oh. sorry, my dog just made a weird noise. Technically it's not a garage uh, because it's not fully closed. But, oh, I think I'm going to like this. I think I'm going to, no, I think I'm going to love this. I think I'm going to love this house. I don't understand why everything's loading so slowly. I'm so sorry, guys. But we have this really big entryway. We have the kitchen and dining room. Kitchen and informal dining room off here. This is supposed to be like a pantry, which I think is super cool. I love that that's like built in to the house. We have our dining room over here, and then the dining room also leads to a nice little patio. It's got a pool that overlooks like downtown almost. And then over here we have a little study sitting room. We have a living room. We have a bathroom and another office. And then in the basement here, we have a little chill hangout area and a home gym that you can see the pool and a hot tub. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is amazing. And then there's another bathroom. And upstairs we got bedroom with a master bath. We have a second bedroom. We have a third bedroom which is with its own bath, a fourth bedroom. And then this is the bathroom that these two bedrooms would share. And then we have another, oh my God, a little storage room. This is so cute. A little art studio. Oh, I'm obsessed. I want to see this family. We have Arthur, Ethan, and Winifred. Okay. I don't know the goth family like super well, like their backstory and everything, but I'm 
super duper duper obsessed with that house. Legit would probably live in that. Even with like the dark theme, I would still probably live in that. Um, I kind of want to check out these houses here. It looks like they're all four probably the same. I'm thinking maybe they were intended to be almost like, um, not townhouses, but almost like townhouses, you know, where everything is the exact same all the way across. I also feel like, how much is this? Like, what? I don't know. Anyways, I feel like this is almost a starter home also, but people were just living in it. Oh, I really like this. I really, really, oh, this is so cute. This, I love, whoever made this town decorated it super, super well because I'm, I, like, I love the way this is decorated. The one thing I don't love, and this isn't like a super negative, um, but the only toilet in the entire house you have to go through the master bedroom to get to. I don't love that, but you could easily make this just a washer, put the, um, clothesline outside, and then put a half bathroom in here. Problem solved. Um, also obsessed with this. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm in love with this town. This is, this is probably one of my new favorite towns, honestly. Honest to God. And I am just curious... Does it tell you how much the property's worth? I don't know. I can't figure that out. But they all pretty much look the same. I'm guessing they're really just decorated um, differently depending on the people. I am kind of curious, are these, is this, are these like trailers? Because this is actually really cute. Is this the same property? I think this is the same property. Hold on. I want to see what this is. And my cat is like ripping my door off its hinges to get in, so just give me one second, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, sorry for the brief interruption, but I am back, and this place is so freaking cute. It's like a little trailer park. There's a trailer over there, a trailer over... Oh my god, single mom. Single mom. Anyways, um, yeah, this is super, super cute. This property itself actually has two separate trailers on it and they share a backyard which is adorable so in this one over here we have a super cute like this is adorable i would 100 percent live in this no problem like this is super super cute wes okay okay so it's like a single father and then their little like tenant over here or something this is so Sorry, my phone decided to go off, of course. So freaking cute. I'm actually obsessed with this kitchen. This blue is gorgeous. Bathroom, okay. The little girl's bedroom is adorable. The dad's bedroom is super cute. And then over here, this is like the single girl's apartment. This is so, so cute. This is so cute. I love this. This would be a really fun storyline. Oh, excuse me. A really fun storyline. Um, yeah, this would make like a really, really cute storyline. I absolutely love that. Okay, let's go ahead and close her up. And let's find like one or two more houses. I definitely want to look at one of these rich houses over here. I think I'm, dr I'm drawn to this one. I'm going to be honest. This is the one that really like sucked my eyes in. So we're going to check this one out. This actually doesn't have any people living in it either. So I'll kind of get an idea of like, are the houses catered to the people who live in them or are they just kind of decorated um in a general fashion i mean obviously they're catered to those who live in them if the houses that have people but still i'm really excited to see this house so far i have to say 10 out of 10 when it comes to decor and like decorating and everything i really enjoy it i think all of them have been really good i think the honestly the worst house is the one we're living in but it's an empty starter home so honestly that makes sense um i think the rest of the houses have been decorated very well and very obviously catered to the people living in them which i really like this is also a super super cute house obviously meant for the rich um okay up front i love all of this i love the little fountain the driveway is super cute. We have a two-stall garage um, and a little, like, workshop area, which is adorable. Like, old tires over there. Super cute. There is plenty of yard, which is super nice. It wraps around to the back. 
have a little walkway let's see oh this cute little gazebo over here with seating oh my god this is adorable um is this a maze garden or is this just a garden you can actually go in it but it's still super super cute um more patios both sides here this brings us to our pool that is super super nice i love that even though you're outside there's still the step up i think that is a really cute touch and i really really like that i do want to see did this load over here yeah this is so cute i could definitely see myself living here um on the inside we have this giant uh entryway grand staircase going up to the left we have the formal dining room the kitchen through there and then you can also get to the garage through the kitchen very cute back this way we have like the game room we have pool we have a bar um this is like oh okay this is like the party room i love that i love that they kind of incorporate oh oh my god literally the party room you have your like a secondary kitchen to serve like your party stuff in you have a little half bath it's literally a bar inside your house that's wild and then we have the sitting room over here the living room over here which also gets you to the backyard and then like a formal office the only thing i feel like this should be a door instead of an archway just because if it's an office you want closed off space and then a half bathroom okay upstairs we got oh i love bathrooms that do this where the tub is in a whole separate room i think that's so cute and such a vibe i want that so bad so we have a full bathroom over here we have a kid's bedroom this is so cute what i want that that is adorable i know it's like the base game one but the coloring on it i just love it this is super cute obsessed with this room this is either like a guest bedroom or like if you have um a young adult child who still lives with you a little sitting area super cute and then we have the master bedroom okay and then another bedroom i will say this is an empty house so it's not made to be like catered to anyone but the bedrooms are a little like plain jane but obviously again it's an empty house so it's not made for specific sims but i really really like this house this is the kind of mansion that i actually could see myself moving my sims into and actually playing typically um, I never really use mansions because I end up not actually liking what they look like on the inside. So now I want to kind of look for a more, um, I think we're going to do two more houses. I want to do like a, like a middle class family house would be probably these if I had to guess. And then I want to grab a country house as well. I think we're going to go for, um... Let's go for this one right here. I love the ones that have fenced in yards. I don't know why. I just, I love having a fenced in yard. I think it is such a key thing to a house that gets forgotten about a lot, truthfully. Because in reality, if you have pets, you're going to want to have a fenced in yard because you're not just going to let your pets come and go as they please. I know in this game, obviously, the pets can open any doors and get out, but still. This is so cute oh my god this is so freaking cute okay a red mailbox adorable plenty of yard space out here love it you can get to the backyard without going through the house also love that an attached garage love that there is some yardage back here but it's mostly patio um and then this leads oh this is so cute literally obsessed with this house already okay let's see what the inside is cute little deck I feel like I've seen this house before. Like, I feel like I've seen someone either use this in a Let's Play or maybe use the same floor plan. But this is cute. Little entryway. Living room here is adorable. Formal dining room that also leads into the kitchen with an informal dining room, a full bathroom, to the backyard, and a laundry room. Okay, and how many bedrooms? So this is decorated for three bedrooms and a study with two bathrooms, but you could easily make the study into a bedroom. 
and honestly you could you could have five kids in this house easy like easy obviously they'd have to share bedrooms and stuff but yeah you could easily have five kids in this house obsessed obsessed see what i mean when i said ooh, that's another thing 131,000. okay um when i said that i want good family homes this is what i'm talking about like those kind of family homes fence and yard for the dog plenty of bedrooms plenty of bathrooms I love that. I love that. I do just want to see what this is. Technically, it's not actually a lot, but this is so cute. This is so freaking cute. Oh my God. I'm obsessed with this. I grew up in a very small town in the Midwest. So obviously like country houses, country things like that's my forte. I know all about that. Um, let's find i really wish there was a house like all the way out here i think that would be so cool to be all the way out there i want to find like a country house maybe this one is this a house okay this is a house i want to see what this is about and then we'll kind of switch gears and go to community lots um i don't the spirited siblings okay um, I purposely do not look at every single lot that is made when doing a uh, world overview just because I do want some things to be left up to surprise um, for when I play in the world and then also like if you guys choose to play in this world I do want some to be left up to a surprise so this is super cute this house is actually build, built over oh my god did it close on me? I think it closed on me. Okay, no. This house is actually built over a lake, like a little pond. That is super, super cute. I wonder, can you swim in it? No, just fishing. That's fine. Um, not much for yardage, but it's uh, like, honestly, that's fine. I don't, I feel like this house wasn't made for kids anyways. Um, so we got the front door right here. Just a little, this looks more like a reception area than like a living room or something but maybe a little home office maybe throw a tv in here make it a living room this hallway brings you across to the second part of the house got a kitchen dining room living room combo and then a bathroom and then that's where you get access to the backyard and then two separate bedrooms okay this is actually a really cute house and i think for the storyline it has set up um it's obviously two siblings that live here this is a really, really cute house, and this is a place that, I don't know, I feel like this is perfect for siblings. I don't know why. I just really like it. It's super cute. Okay, I'm obsessed with it. Let's go ahead and close it up. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go ahead and close it up. Um, if you didn't know, if you ever open a house through NROS like that, you if you don't close it back up, it does kind of, in a sense, um, like almost ruin your game. So... Oh, of the apartment buildings, we have a one bedroom, one bath, a four bedroom, three bath, and a three bedroom, two bath. I think I want to come look at this one. I know I just said I was done with residential lots and I'll move on to community, but I really want to see what the apartment looks like because technically this isn't an actual apartment building. So I'm very interested to see what it's going. Oh, it's one of those like it's made to look like a duplex. Oh, I love that. This is called the Ambitious Roomies cute so let's go ahead and open her up it is smack dab in the middle of downtown which i absolutely love can we load please and it's super super cute not much of a yard but again you can't expect a whole lot when you're in like an apartment slash townhouse okay so they come in here this is i guess meant to be like a neighbor there's no elevator and they're on the third floor, which is wild, but it is what it is. Um, all right, we walk in, we have our little desk, we have, oh, that's funky. That's funky, I don't know if I like that. Um, but we have our kitchen over here, it's pretty small and quaint, but it's all you really need. Have our dining room, our living room. We have bedroom number one with its own private bathroom. Okay, love it. Over here we have bedroom number two, also with its own private bathroom. Super, super cute. Oh no, it's a shared bathroom. Okay, it shares a bathroom with bedroom number three. And I will just say, if I lived in this house, I would definitely want bedroom number three. 
And then this is the public bathroom that also bedroom number four would use, but it does unfortunately have the pub have to use the like guest bathroom, but it's the only one that gets its own deck. So this is super cool. This is also a really good layout for the storyline. I feel like for a family, this wouldn't be, I mean, not that it would be bad, but it's not like super ideal for a family. I feel like this is really good for, you know, four separate roommates who all live together. And this also gives me like such a good idea for a Let's Play storyline. Oh, I just love it. I freaking love it. Okay, we're going to actually start on the edge of town and kind of work our way in. So we have a campsite and fishing ground right here. Super cute. You can like put your boat out. Oh, also, um, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I did finally get Island Paradise to install. I don't know why for the longest time it just refused to install. And then one day it randomly worked. So I finally have Island Paradise back. Um, but yeah, you could like add the boats here. I think that would be super, super cute. I really want to check out this place, Harrington House. Um, it has like the nectar, like the nectar symbol, but I'm wondering if this is actually a neck, like a nectarine place or if they just did that because they didn't know what to label it. So we're going to come out here. We're going to see what this is. It looks like a legit house. So I'm kind of curious. Harrington house. I want is maybe, is it maybe like an abandoned house? It's like straight up somebody's house. Oh, wait, is it the consignment shop? Okay, I think it's supposed to be the consignment shop because this is the consignment specialist. Mm, okay, so it is a nectarine place. We have grave sites over here. We have the bees over here. Okay. Yeah, okay. So this is... This is the nectarine place. Okay, interesting. Well, that's not as interesting now that I know. Um, we have a Farmer's Valley Pond, um, Performance Park, the uh, graveyard. I forgot what that was called. Let's see what's over here in this little section. So we have the abandoned hospital. We have a nightclub, a restaurant, and the playground arcade i really want to go see that i'm curious to see if it's something new or if it's one that i've seen before um we have the gym here's the actual hospital okay no this country care this is not the hospital either i'm so confused okay fire station uh the tattoo parlor a spa so is this supposed to be like this side of town is still developing? Is that what this is supposed to be? Because this is like, or am I missing something? Like, do I not have something downloaded into my game that's supposed to be here? Or is this supposed to be like, it just hasn't, um, I'm so confused. I wonder if I'm like straight up missing something from my game and that's why those places look non-existent. Wait, what was that right there? I think that was the fire station. It looks so cool. Okay. Oh, I'm going to love this place. Is this the university one? I think this might be the university one. Oh, it's not. Oh my God. This is dope. This feels real like this feels what you would actually see you have the bowling alley over here you have some vending machines blow and bubbles a bunch of arcade like this feels like a real arcade oh my god i'm actually obsessed with this and it's right on the water that's amazing okay so i'm gonna keep looking around i wonder if there is an actual hospital here or if maybe i'm missing what that hospital is supposed to be i don't know um, we have an antique shop. We have a little playground over here, which probably isn't super exciting, but I am, like I said, a very family-oriented simmer, so I do want to check it out and just see if they have, like, a lot of playground stuff. Okay, I was about to say, like, they have literally nothing. This is super cute. Oh, he's being held. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Yeah, this is super cute. I really, really like this park. 
Oh my god, I love it. And it's in like the family friendly neighborhood. Cute. Is this like an abandoned? Oh no, this is a house. Okay, for some reason I thought maybe it was supposed to be like an abandoned house. Um, we have a bar, the, oh, trailer park pool, okay, and the trailer park playground. That is so cute. What is this? Oh, this is somebody's house. What the heck? They have all these little hidden gems. One with na- I have to look at this. It's literally called One with Nature. It's not even on a road. It's- Oh my god, actually obsessed with this. I'm sorry guys, I know I said I was done. I have to, I have to look at this. Open, okay. Oh my god, they have like, the bathroom is, oh my god, literally obsessed. And this is their, oh my fucking god, you guys, you don't even understand. This also gives me such an amazing idea for like a let's play. Oh my god, I am saving this house to my bin immediately. Immediately. Okay, anyways, um, I'm supposed to be looking at community lots. What are you doing? All right, so this is like the main hub of the town. We have the chapel, the business place, a coffee house, another bar. We have a grocery store, a movie theater, and a bookstore. Um, Bridge Parkway, we have the museum, library, the bistro, Long Island Drive Park, ing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and then this is where the actual hospital is. No. City Hall Police Military. So we still haven't found the hospital. Long Island Park, I want to see what's here. Am I, like, missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, so this park is, it's cute. It's pretty tame. Um, I'm wondering if maybe this is where the, um, what do you call it? The festival grounds will go. So we have, like, the rich people neighborhood, and we have the Riverview Country Club, which I definitely want to go check out. I love the idea of a little country club i think it's super super cute the last couple country clubs i've looked at i think i did um a world overview for pottersville not too long ago also and that one had a country club that i was literally obsessed with it was so cool all right are we gonna load oh i love that it's like up on a hill this is so pretty the goth house gorgeous gore gina okay all right, so for the grounds, little walkway to um, a kid's section. You can get straight up married here, obsessed with that. We have our golf over here, obsessed with that. We have soccer. We have a bunch of water area. Um, I think I would probably revamp this with some Island Paradise stuff and put in like the bar pool, um, the fire walk pit, that would be super cool. Okay, downstairs we have the resorts that you can actually stay in. Beautiful. So is this... Okay, so this is one of those places you actually... So this is a legit resort. The last one, the, con the last country club um, that I saw was not a legit resort. So this is cool. I absolutely love... Oh, you can't afford it. <laughs> um, I love this. This is such a cute little resort pool, bathrooms, your own kitchen, and then you have a huge amazing selection of a buffet. And then upstairs you have like actual rooms you can stay in. This is so cool. I love that so much. I love that it's a legit resort. All right, what else we got here? We have, ooh, I want to see what that place is. And then while he's on his way, we have a community garden that is adorable. We have the equestrian center. Um, oh, a wedding bar. Okay, saving that to my bin. Um, oh, here's the festival grounds. Okay, Cotton Branch Park Festival Grounds. Love that. We have the junkyard. We have another resort over here. Oh, the Baxter Inn Motel. So this is probably like the cheaper resort. And then we have the criminal hangout. We have the dog park. 
Playful Pals playground and then the school and the sports stadium and the pool. Okay, so there is no hospital. So I'm wondering if whatever hospital was used in this town, um, I just don't have in my game. That's what I'm going to go ahead and say the issue is because I literally do not see a hospital anywhere unless I'm just like totally blind. Um, maybe I'll have him get a job at the hospital <laughs> and um, see if it tells me where to go. But okay, this is, what was this place called? Okay. Some kind of like botanical garden and tea place. Love all the flowers in the backyard. Love all the colors also. Oh my god. You know, it'd be, so, oh my god. This would be so cute to like take your kids a birthday party here. Yes, having your daughter's birthday party here would be absolutely amazing. Oh my god. It has so many cute little hidden gems. I'm obsessed. All right, let's. One more thing, we're going to go look at the Rustic Romantic Wedding Barn, and I'm going to do another lap around the town and see if I'm missing the hospital or what the deal is. Because I, like, genuinely don't see a hospital anywhere. Which, if that's the only issue, and it's probably an issue on my end because I don't have the right hospital installed, like, this town... <laughs> this town's amazing. Let me just put it that way. I'm a, this is my new favorite town. And I really think that might be the issue with the spa and the hospital. Okay, so let's look at this little wedding venue. I'm probably going to have to save this to my bin before I leave here. I'm always, always, always looking for more wedding venues. Romantic, rustic romantic wedding barn. So it's legit a barn. Cute. Oh, this is everything you would need you'd actually get married here it's even got the little podium for the pastor um separate bathrooms for you to get ready in and then you'd have your reception over here it's got a dance floor it's got the buffets this is literally everything you would need the only thing that i think is missing and honestly you could actually do it over here if you wanted to um there's not a place to set your cake down Typically, you'd probably have that over here with the food, but you could literally put your cake over here. Other than that, this is perfect. I absolutely love this. So, I am going to give this town my little review, and I have to say, I'm going to give this town... I think I'm going to give this town a 10 out of 10. I don't normally do that. I'm normally the kind of person who's like, well, there's always something you can prove on, so you're not going to get a perfect score. I'm going to give this town a 10 out of 10. I think all of the community lots are unique and very well built. I think every house I looked at was decorated uniquely. Um, it looked, everything looked really, really good. This town has a good mix of bars and dance clubs but then also like arcades and parks and just like cute little like this rosemary bakery and tea garden never seen that before in the sims ever it's got a really good variety of like the country fun kind of live in um and then it's got where'd we go like the middle class like just community area we got the rich side we have a whole trailer park the one thing that this town is missing is the hospital, but again, I'm like 90% sure that's my fault and not the town's fault. Um, I'm going to go through this town. I'm going to save a bunch of community lots and houses to my bin and put them in other towns because that's how obsessed with them I am. Actually, there's one last thing I want to do. I'm going to send him to the library and this looks like a house. Is, are you kidding me? This is this looks like a house. Wow. Um, I'm going to send him to the library and see if he can get a job at the hospital. Um, just to see if there is a hospital and I'm like completely overlooking it. I don't know. So the, why is this? Why is this? Why is this house a library? That's wild. Um, all right. Come over here and let's find a job. You got your little computer room your library room, your two bathrooms, your little kids section at the library room. Could be a little more kid oriented, but that's okay. It is what it is. 
And then upstairs you have like a lecture hall, like it's university. Oh my God, this is freaking adorable. All right, last thing we're gonna do is try and see if he can get a job at the hospital. And then that will tell me if the hospital is like non-existent or if I'm just completely overlooking it. I really hope I'm overlooking it because honestly, that's the only negative I can think of. And again, that's probably like 90% sure that's a me problem and not the town problem. So I am curious. Education, culinary, science, criminal business, education, culinary. Yeah. Um, it's not here. So I'm guessing the hospital's missing. I'm pretty positive it's supposed to be right here. And I just missed it. So is this? Oh, my God. This isn't even an actual lot, but look at how cute this is. Oh, sorry, I had the odd. Look at how freaking cute. I'm so obsessed with this town. Okay. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting down below, and subscribing if you have not already. I hope you enjoyed this world overview, and I really hope you go and download it. I will have the download link in the description down below. Um, let me know what other worlds you would like to see an overview for. I have done, I, I did a lot like a couple months ago. I did them like once a week almost, and then I haven't done them for a while. So let me know if there's any towns you want me to review, look over. If you yourself make a town, please let me know because I would love to look at that. I think that is super cool, but I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye guys.